India's first war at sea movie, Ghazi is a latest reach. And right now we're here, we're here with the Sankal, its director. Hi, Sankal. Hi. So we just wanted to have a chat about this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you passed out of engineering sometime in 2006. Oh, yeah. And then later you went to do your MBA. Yeah. And from there you went into filmmaking. Yes. So how did the transition happen from an engineer to a, an MBA grad to a filmmaker? Uh, after finishing in uh, B.Tech, as usual, like everybody else, uh, I applied for masters. I didn't get visa, mm -hmm. so I had tried for five to six times, I believe. Then uh, I worked for Infotech six months, software engineer. Right, just after B.Tech. Yeah. Okay. After no, after four five months. Mm. After no, after att attempting for visa and that six months passed, and then I tried for. Uh, I did a six months software job. Then uh, I didn't, uh, no, it didn't work for me. So I went for MBA. Mm -hmm. MBA went to Australia uh, and then from after doing one semester, completing one semester, at the same university there is a one uh, film school. In the same university, the film uh, course is there. So looking at it, immediately I joined it. So that's the transition, the smooth transition. So you applied there directly after MBA and how did you apply? What was like? Application was simple, straightforward. Mm -hmm. It has basic minimum requirements like a recommendation letter, minimum GPA and some... So just like any other... Like application. any other admission. Yeah. And so you didn't finish your MBA instead? You no. just no. And what did you study there? What course did you do? Filmmaking? Master of Fine Arts. Master of Fine Arts. Yeah, filmmaking. Okay. okay, and coming to this movie, what was uh, the reason behind you choosing such a theme for your first feature film. Okay. Uh, Such a complex theme, see, I mean. It's actually uh, not a straightforward thing. At the first step, I even work for a love, you know, love story kind of thing. Then a horror film script. I was working on the scripts, but I realized that those scripts won't work for a first time director to make his own mark. Mm -hmm. That's my belief at that time. Why I chose those scripts where uh, I wanted to make something at a low budget in a simple location, single location, mm -hmm. because at that time I was producing my own film. Mm -hmm. So, realizing that I can't afford to make these kind of uh, strips, which will only make lose my money. At one uh, uh, point of my time, I went to Vizak. There I saw the submarine. That's why, uh, like, it immediately connected to one single location, one single space, and then different script, different storyline. Nobody has ever tried. So all these elements added to it. Yeah. All right. So again, um, I'm sure a theme like this would have taken a lot of research yeah. at a lot of places. Yeah. So how long did the research happen? Where did you do it? Eight months. Eight, eight, eight months. It was eight months of Only solid on research. the research part of the Indian submarine. Indian submarine, which is there at the uh, Vaisak Beach Road. There I went inside. There there is a curator, Mr. Paniraj. So he explained me each and every part of the submarine. The first step of research was online, through Wikipedia and uh, Google search, the first step. After finishing, you know, reading all the articles, reading all the content, Indian Navy, everything, the point when I realized that I can't learn anything more, then I went to Submarine. Kurusura? Yeah. Okay. There, uh, he explained me each and every part. Then I came back, I understood the, you know, logics of Submarine, how the Navy people behave inside, how they survive different uh, atmosphere, no, conditions inside submarine. Then next was to write the script. Ghazi. In Ghazi, you know, that Pakistan submarine came from uh, Karachi to Sri Lanka, crossing Sri Lanka, it came to Vishakhapatna. That actually made me, you know, uh, sound very interesting. You know, it came to destroy Vikrant, the warship, the aircraft carrier, and uh, destroy Vizak port. Unable to do so, it got sank to sea bed, Bay of Bengal. So this idea made me more like a, you know, curious to know what happened. So it happened in one two days only for me exactly, to yeah. get that idea. But from there, uh, creating the fictional storyline, everything, it took another eight months. Mm -hmm. So eight months. Getting a producer to actually um, be on board with you on such a theme, getting, and also casting. Getting, yeah. getting the producer at the first level was very difficult. After finishing the script, I didn't find any producer because the first time the producer were asking. Was there a love story? Was there a comedy? Is there any item song? I don't know, is, are there any songs in the film? 
So these were the basic questions a couple of producers were asking me. But uh, realizing that these people won't come, I started on my own at that time. How long ago was this? Three years back. Okay, so three and a half years back. So yeah. Ghazi was born five years. Five years ago. Yeah. Okay. Five years plus one and a half year in that one, first one and a half year went to the script. Uh, then looking for the producer for the different theme. It went three four months, realizing that it won't work. So I, I had to invest my own money. Then after investing my own money, I created the set, the submarine. Mm-hmm. I created a CG, complete CG visuals. At that time, there were only 40 50 CG shots. And then uh, created storyboard mm-hmm. for the entire screenplay, the entire script. So you drew yeah. a frame for a yeah. storyboard yeah. for every yeah. frame? Okay. Yeah, everything. Thousands, thousands of images are there. Mm. I'll upload these images sometime later in the future, but these are all uh, content which I had. And plus added to this, uh, um, I had theatre actors. Hmm. Uh, all these people, you know, I, I did small test shoots. So all these things... Okay, all I this was before producing. you had a producer. Yeah, so yeah. you were just doing it yeah, on All these things basis. I was doing as a part of my R&D and, and uh, I knew somewhere that I was producing this film. So what happened, uh, money whichever I had at that time was all spent, nothing was left me. So in that process I was looking for producers, again, because I have to get some money from outside. Then I found Matinee Entertainment and PVP Cinema. Mm-hmm. They, I showed them the what I you know did. Earlier I didn't have anything to other producers, what I had to show. Okay, now you had something tangible. Yeah, there. this time they can believe what uh, my idea was. Even they don't, um, even though they don't know me, but still they know what I create, what I'm creating. Hmm. So that idea they liked it. So that's how they came. Okay. Matney and PVP. Okay, and um, any specific reason that you ch- opted to do it in a trilingual way, or so that's just what? for a national reach? No, no, that happened. Uh, uh, collective uh, decisions. Like I wanted to make the film in Hindi which was supposed to be on YouTube long time back. Mm-hmm. Oh, you didn't plan for a release mm-hmm. directly? Because I can't release on my own. Okay, yeah. When I was producing the film, I know I can't release on my own. Uh, it's a difficult task. And putting that much, uh, without any money, it's next to impossible. So I, the only option was YouTube. So that was the Hindi version. Producers are from no, Telugu and Tamil. Mm. Matney and PVP. Mm-hmm. They produce Telugu films. So. They wanted the film to be in Telugu, so okay. Then uh, Rana came in. No, oh, until Telugu. After yeah. you, after you thought it was gonna be in Telugu, yeah. Rana came over. Rana, Rana came. Okay. Rana came later, uh, one month later. Did you have anyone else in mind for uh, that role? No, no. At that time, all everybody were theatre actors. Okay. Because so you didn't new. write the story with Rana in mind, at, uh, that not, character. No, 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 no. Okay. It happened later. Mm-hmm. So Rana came in and Rana said, uh, let's do it in Hindi, Telugu and Tamil. That's how it happened in three languages. Mm-hmm. And uh, with all the research that you've done yeah. for this, uh, how accurate it is historically? Uh, accuracy, you can say 10 to 20 percent. Mm-hmm. See, a Pakistan submarine, Ghazi, coming from Karachi, Sri Lanka to Vishakhapatnam is the fact. Mm. It got sunk into seabed, that's the second fact. It was looking for Vikrant third. It was it couldn't find Vikrant, so it was placing water mines and uh, wanted to destroy Vishakhapatnam port. That was the fourth. So these are the only facts. Remaining else, whatever you see in the film is all fictional. Mm-hmm. The Indian submarine is fictional. Uh, the characters inside are fictional. And while talking about accuracy, I noticed a very interesting point when I was watching the movie. Um, you totally got the naval lingo right. Uh, no, not totally. I mean, to a great extent yeah, compared to yeah, a lot of other movies. Yeah, yeah. Like people saying, I sir, and things like that. Yeah, yeah. So, how did you pick up those terms? Yeah, that's part of my eight months of research. With the naval officers yeah, there. Yeah, with the know. naval people, with, you know, going inside submarine, with retired navy people, uh, meeting them. That's part of my eight months research. Mm-hmm. Before and, the uh, and the technical accuracy of the film, the technology? Uh, it's almost there. Certain things for the audience to understand. If yeah. I put exactly the way it was, nobody would understand. 
only the learned people learned you know navy people will understand those so there were many cinematic liberties which have taken for audience to understand and for the dramatic aspect yeah, of this yeah. that's the only reason if i had kept exactly the way indian navy speaks it would have little bit challenging for common man to understand mm-hmm. so that liberty we took and also the technological things like inside the submarine yeah. and the way these those mark 14 torpedoes there if i'm not mistaken sorry the torpedoes the way they were pro- they were portrayed here yeah the technological aspects of that yeah how far are they accurate almost sir mm-hmm. it's almost sir because uh, um the launching the torpedo all those things it takes a lot of you know systematic procedures hmm inside the submarine i just showed turning a wheel some you no know, number matching something somebody you know pressing buttons and turning these all uh, turning key these kind of things are cinematic liberties if i have to show properly how a torpedo is launched it's a long procedure yeah it's a, it's a very it's a very long thing. long procedure i have to cut short make it straight forward simple for common man to understand at the same time not to break logical illogical you know keep it logic hmm. finally i just want you to give a tiny message to our audience who are mostly students okay and who have who might have film making aspirations i want me to tell them huh? yes yeah. believe in what you do that's it you know don't give up if i had given up some time back nobody would have believed in me people the producers who came forward make this film they don't know me they never inquired from where from for whom i worked they didn't inquire all those things they only looked was what i did so i believed in something what i was doing so believe in what you do that's it that, yeah. that's like the mantra ah, that's all okay if you give up nobody will believe you okay all right so it was uh, an interesting chat with you and thank you for this and we hope to see a lot of more you know unique and hatke films from you thank from you on. Yeah. thank you sangal thank you